Valraven, ancestor of the seers and master of ravens. He hunts his prey with his powers of illusion and feasts on their remains. Follow the path to Valraven and defeat him in battle to earn his mark. The gate to Helheim cannot be opened without it. sons and grandsons were dark after him. Of his daughters and granddaughters, some were monstrous, but others fair. But there was another who came from the ice. Buri. In shape, he was like a man, big and powerful. His son, Bor, took a fair giant to be his wife, and they had three sons. Odin was the eldest, and the Northmen hold him to be the foremost of the gods the old father. the path to Valraven. Don't trust your eyes. Find another way to see the truth.
Raven's power of illusion comes from ravens, allowing the ravens to break his magic seal. Show me what you have seen, Truth. Look how much has changed. Another game. Another game. <laughs> you know what to do. Stay back. You have to open it. It's not safe. Don't listen to them. Listen, listen. Don't open it. You can do it. Don't. Don't do it. Stay back. Come on. To break the seal, align the ravens with the mark of Valraven. Oh, Ravens. 
challenge me. <laughs> Northmen say that Odin and his brothers killed Ymir, and that the world of man was formed from his corpse. They made his bones into stone, and his flesh into earth, and his blood into the salt sea. They set his skull to be the bowl of the sky, with his brains for clouds. Odin and his brothers caught the sparks flying from Muspel, and made them into stars. And to protect the new world from the giants, they used Emir's great curving eyebrows as walls.
picture fear, and we think of a shadow in the woods, a creature in the night. If only it were that simple. The worst kind comes without warning. A deep and primal signal from within. A reminder that just because you cannot see the threat, it doesn't mean that it's not already here. Northmen say you must sacrifice in order to receive. They tell how the runes were revealed to Odin only in sacrifice. He hung himself from the world tree, and he stabbed himself with a spear, and he dedicated the sacrifice to himself. For nine nights he hung on the tree without food or drink, and at last he saw the runes below him. He gave a cry and gathered them in his mind and learnt them. Then he fell from the tree. Do you know what it's like to leave everything behind? Your home? Loved ones? To head deep into the wilds? Perhaps never to return? Senua does. Because when darkness speaks, it changes everything. Turning home into a foreign land and loved ones into strangers. Exile makes sense when you realize that you were never really home in the first place. The Northmen say that Odin is always in search of knowledge and wisdom and magic. There was a very wise being named Mimir who guarded the waters of wisdom which flow from the roots of the world tree. Odin wished to drink from this spring, but he had to pay a price. So he gouged out his own eye as offering to Mimir. 
He drank from the well and traded one way of seeing for another. to the wilds a long time ago. Why did she go to the wild? She wanted to fight her own darkness. <laughs> she thought she could beat her own darkness. Did she beat her darkness? No. <laughs> it nearly killed her, but she tried. Druth. Druth helped her. If it wasn't for Druth, she'd be dead. She can't beat her own darkness. She wanted to marry Dillian. She came to beat her own darkness. But she it didn't thought, work. She thought her curse would affect him. She thought her curse would spread to him. She thought she'd bring the darkness to him too. She nearly died. She thought the curse made her tainted. Druth helped her. The Northmen say that Odin has two ravens. Their names are Thoth and Memory, and each day he sends them out to fly all across the world. Upon their return, they perch on his shoulders and tell him everything they have seen and heard. In this way, he learns of things far and wide, and for this reason, he is called the Raven God. Sinua. Like Odin, you must seek wisdom in thought and memory, if you are to succeed in your quest.
They've gone. Summer's still there. But where? Summer's still there. Oh, no, Raven's helping. He's, He's not helping. It's true. Quiet. I can't think. Out in the wilds. And cold winter woods. Where have they gone? She no longer felt a fit for this world. She almost gave in to the darkness. She remembered Dillian's words. She remembered her promise. She resolved to fight on and kill that which had become a part of her. Where have they gone? Where have they gone? She did it, but what does it mean? She Looking back, I was so naive to think she could banish it on her own. The further she saw into the darkness, the more she struggled to see anything at all. And the glow, the smallest hints of shape, sound, or thought, grew in strength until they consumed her whole. she knew it. The darkness had her in its claws. is open, open. There is no such thing as victory when it comes to the darkness. It's like it doesn't want to kill her. Yet, I'll know at her, biding its time. Only when she is at her weakest will it strike to kill. Will she find Dillian? before her time comes.
overcome Valraven's final illusion to face him in his keep. I know you can do it, Sinua. You have the sight. We both see the darkness. We can fight it together. Speak to me, Drew. Tell me a story. Senua, listen. I will tell you the tale of a man called Finden. The Northman captured Finden's sister, and his father sent him to pay for her release. But they took his gold, put him in chains, and held him for a day and a night without food or water. Then they released him. I don't know why. Upon his return, his father's enemies in Erin set fire to his home. His father burnt to death, and his brother was killed. But he escaped with sorrow in his heart. His father's enemies offered redress for his loss and invited him to a feast that was at a hall near the sea. But when he went there, they betrayed him to the Northmen, who enslaved him and took him to hell. Six years later, his slave masters landed on the shores of Orkney, burning all before them. And into that fire, Findon made his escape. What was Findon? Burnt away that day. But from the flames, a new man stepped forward. And Druth was born. Druth. The man that I am now. And though Findon never set eyes on his dear sister again, I, Druth, have found you, Senua. I wish you could have seen my home before these dark times. Is open. Open. It's darkness. I know it from the wilds. It's coming back for me.
It didn't end well in the wilds. It never does. You think you can overcome the darkness, make sense of it, and once relief settles in, strikes out of nowhere, throwing you helplessly back into the maelstrom, drowning the mind in fear, deeper, deeper, dragging you down so far into the void that maybe this time there is no coming back. There, Help. in the darkness. Senua. And she remembered what he told her. Hear me. Reach out to me. Help. Senua. Take my iron mirror. Look into it. For it is a window into the underworld. Within, you will see the face of the darkness that you fear. And if you focus, like I have taught you to... You will also see that as much as the darkness has you trapped within its veil, it too is trapped within yours. Focus! 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 I see you! I see you now! You led me to the wilds! You trapped me there!
left you in the wilds, did I? It was an illusion. But not this time! The mark of Valraven. One of the keys to the gate to Helheim. Hold it in your mind's eye. With every battle, the darkness grows stronger. Every victory bringing her closer to defeat. Unfair, isn't it? In those dark winter nights in the wilds, there were times when she considered letting go. If it weren't for truth, a chance encounter in the wilds, she would not have heard his stories of the Northmen. And she would not have this chance to find Dillian's soul. I'm coming. I still hear you. Senua, you have the sight, just like I do. Once you can see into the underworld, the underworld and all the souls within it will see you. Don't be afraid when they speak to you. I will always be here to guide you. Did you see her? That was her mother, Galina. She was a priestess, a healer. She taught Senua to see the weave that binds the world together. And it was beautiful. 
It was a time before the darkness. But when it did come, it first came for her mother. Senua still sees her face from time to time, hidden in the world. Like she's still watching over. There's another challenge. There's another challenge. She hasn't a chance. 